It's Miss Jenny. And Miss Glendonna. And we are back again today with Cooking with Christ. Hmm. Refreshing. Delicious. I love it. So today we are continuing to learn about the life of Jesus. Love it. And one of my favorite stories of Jesus is the fishers of men. So there was a point in Jesus' life where he was baptized. Jesus was baptized by John, or as he's known now, John the Baptist. John the Baptist, that's right. Well, after he was baptized, he decided he needed some time alone. So he went out into the desert and, well, he wasn't really alone. He had God. Yeah, that's right. He was, he was with God. Always with you. Always with you. So after he was in the desert for a while, spending time with God, he decided he needed to spread the word of God. And to have, what better way to do that than have helpers. Gotta have helpers. Gotta have helpers. Love my helpers. So he decided, okay, where am I gonna find my helpers? What kind of helpers will I need? Do you think he had a uh, big strong helpers or big tall redhead helpers? Everybody needs a big tall redhead <laughs> helper. <laughs> Those are great to have. So he was walking on the Sea of Galilee. Mm -hmm. He Is that was how we're walking. Yes, we're walking. He was walking on the Sea of Galilee, and he saw some brothers. So they were fishermen. Mm -hmm and some friends and he decided those are the people that i need to help me they were mending their nets and jesus told them come follow me let's go and i will make you fishers of people now that sounds a little weird a little fishers of people but what jesus meant is that he wanted those guys to come with him and spread the word of god all over the world all over the big world that is a is an amazing task to be fishers of people and that's what we are fishers of people and i can't imagine what joy and hope the fishermen felt when they saw jesus and that they just dropped everything their nets their boats they left it and they followed jesus it's pretty cool it's an amazing story it's absolutely amazing and so today, to help us remember that story, we are going to make fish and nets. Fish and a net. <laughs> fish and a net. So what you guys are gonna need, we have our little square shaped pretzels. Waffle pretzel. Waffle pretzel. And then we have a little kiss here, which is a little chocolate. And then we have one of my favorite snacks, which is these little Go fishy fish. crackers. So we have some, some of these. So we're gonna go ahead and put that together for you guys. And um, this is actually the finished product Oop, right there. And it looks really yummy and it, delicious. Yes, it does. I can't wait to taste. That's right. So this is a pretty easy food craft yes. to get together. So first you're gonna need a pretzel and you can actually do quite a few of them mm -hmm. you don't have to do one so we're just gonna put one together but if you have a cookie sheet you can fill the whole cookie sheet with them so you can keep snacking for your friends or family or all for yourself that's right so we're gonna put um, a pretzel down yeah Hershey Hershey kiss on top okay oh and then once you, once you get it together you're gonna actually put it in an oven that is preheated to 350 degrees. That's where our older friends or our big people helpers, big people helpers. come in because an oven is super hot and we want you guys to stay safe. So you're gonna put it in the oven for about one, two minutes tops. You just wanna get it where the chocolate turns shiny. Yes. That means it's soft. Yes. For what we're gonna do next, yes. okay? And now you could do this next part once it's shiny, or you might have your older big person mm -hmm. help you because the chocolate will be warm. warm. It will be warm. So once your chocolate is warm, whoop, we have some that are warm right here, yes. just popped out of the oven. You are gonna take some of your fishy crackers, and so you're just gonna plunk that down. 
right on the warm chocolate. Ooh, Push him down. He is squishy. Look at that. Oh, you I squished hard. I did. Woo. All over the place. I squished easy. Yes. So again, you'll this will be your finished product. It's a little fish in a net. Mm -hmm. And then you get to taste test it. That is good. That is really good. <laughs> Salty and sweet and mm -hmm. yummy and delicious. And you chocolate. Know? And chocolate. My friends, we are so glad that you got to come and enjoy this time with us. Yummy. Learn about some of our favorite stories from the life of Jesus. And we hope that you'll return again to find our last episode. Uh -oh. I know. Now this one's a big one. The next one is a big one, but it's be great. It's a great story, and it's a great food crowd. <laughs> so I hope you guys come back and enjoy this with us. And thank you for coming and enjoying cooking with Christ. Christ.